All right, everybody. I just want to do a quick addendum video uh, to some of the ones that I posted or will be posting here about some of my different kits, like my EDC bag and my medical kit. I wanted to talk about just a couple other kind of preparedness items that I keep in my vehicle. So as you'll recall from the uh, EDC um, bag video, there's my EDC bag. It lives in my front seat. It blends in pretty well with the interior. So uh, not very obvious that it's there. I usually keep my liter of Nalgene sitting next to it. Um, but in my driver's side little compartment, I always keep at all times uh, a bottle of hand sanitizer, a single cliff bar if I'm in traffic or something like that and I just need a quick snack. And I'll usually rotate that out every week or two. Um, my vehicle is garaged. I work from home, so I don't do a ton of driving. Um, so these things will last quite a while. Uh, and then I have two ponchos, one for me and one for whoever my passenger might be. Um, again, these are just the simple emergency ponchos that you buy, you know, at the grocery store, or at the uh, you know, local CVS or what have you. Um, and then I think it just slipped down below, but in front of the two ponchos, excuse the camera work, in front of the two ponchos, I keep a single uh, pair of prepackaged nitro gloves. Again, if I just need quick access to gloves, if there's an emergency, you know, a roadside accident or something like that. So that's my driver's side compartment. So that's what it would look like as I'm driving, easy access to everything. Um, we already talked about the EDC bag. I always keep one single full bottle of water. Uh, this one happens to be, I think, smart water. And that's on the passenger side in the little side cup holder. Um, again, just if I'm stuck in traffic and my Nalgene is empty and I just need some water, um, I always like to have some handy. If I have to take a, you know, a Tylenol or something, I like to always have water with me. And again, I'll rotate that out every couple weeks or so. Uh, and that brings us to the glove box. So if you watch the video on the trauma kit or the first aid kit, um, you'll see that uh, here in the glove box. Um, but what I have in addition to that, all right, so that just pulls right out, is a kind of individual sized umbrella um, and then some maps. And so the umbrella obviously is for if it's raining, I want to have access to it. I don't want to have to get it out of my trunk. Um, so it's just a small kind of single person umbrella. Um, but the maps is something I think a lot of people don't use and probably should, uh, or, or don't have with them and probably should. Um, when I first started out as a paramedic, we didn't have GPS, you know, guiding us to our, um, the, you know, the scenes that we were sent to, the accidents or the illnesses. Um, and we use these big map books. And so I learned how to read maps pretty proficiently. Um, and I think it's a skill that's kind of lost by a lot of people uh, with the uh, proliferation of GPS. And so what I have here are three maps. I have a map of my city. Behind it is a map of my region, which would be like North Texas or Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex. And then this last one back here in the very back is a um, uh, essentially a U.S. atlas. So I could navigate through my uh, community, my region, and, and frankly the entire country with these three um, maps. They're all made by Rand McNally. Just have them rubber banded together and they fit perfectly in this little slot that my Nissan Maxima has for, for you know paperwork. So those live there next to the umbrella and then the trauma kit lives right on top so it's always easily accessible um, so those are a couple of the things that I have in my in my vehicle um, in addition I've got this little and again this is unique to my vehicle or anyone who has a Maxima but most cars have some sort of little storage compartment um, and in this I simply have one item and it's a, another one of those uh, Manhattan Portage little coin purses um, like the one that I have in my EDC bag uh, and it's attached to a uh, rescue me tool. And you know, if you're not familiar with these, just Google it or look it up on Amazon. It's a you know vehicle rescue tool. It's got a glass breaker, a seatbelt cutter, um, and then inside I've got a small pocket knife, an extra lighter, some matches, um, one spare cell phone charger, uh, charging cable rather, um, and that's it. So just a couple random things that I keep 
uh, in that little coin purse and I keep it in such a way that the rescue me tool is on top and if I were getting into an accident um, God forbid roll my car over or something like that everything in this compartment should stay self-contained unless it's a really horrific accident uh, and I've seen a lot of car accidents in, in my day um, as a paramedic and so what I can tell you is that these compartments, um, you know, the, the center consoles, they typically stay closed and intact, glove boxes, same thing. So I want to know that if I'm upside down in my vehicle, if my vehicle's in a ditch or in a, you know, a creek, I know where my rescue me tool is so that I can access it if I need to. Um, if it's sitting, you know, in kind of a loose area of your vehicle, um, it's just gonna go flying if you get into a serious accident. So I like to keep it um, kind of contained in that little compartment. Um, and then lastly, and I'll see if I can get this on camera, you may not be able to see it, but in the very back, kind of on the back dash, I keep a full size, um, basically like a golf umbrella. Um, and the purpose of that is that if, you know, if I'm with multiple people, my wife or my son, it's just a larger umbrella, you know, if it's raining and I need to cover more than just myself. I've got the small one in the glove box for me and then the, the larger one back there for um, anybody else who might be with me. So just wanted to kind of, again, add this little addendum to a couple uh, preparedness items that I keep in my vehicle. Nothing too crazy, but things that uh, certainly could come in handy. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.